how to create custom contact properties in HubSpot. Hi, it's Tasha from Red Pandas Digital with another HubSpot how-to tutorial. Today's tutorial is on how you can create a custom contact property or data field within your HubSpot portal. Super quick, super easy, one I get asked all the time, so hopefully this helps. All right, once you're in your HubSpot portal here, you can navigate up to the cog. This is your settings. Now navigate down to the properties tab here on the left menu underneath settings. So this is where you will create your new contact properties, company properties and deal properties. Depending on how many properties or data fields you need to make, you might want to create a property group um, and that's like kind of a, a bucket that you can store them all in. Otherwise to create a property, just click the orange button, you label it here. Give it a description, it's optional. What group does it sit within? So that's the groups that I was mentioning before. If you've created a custom contact property group, or if you know that you want it just to sit underneath contact information, for example. And then this is what field type you'd like it to be. So you've got a whole bunch of different options. Single checkbox, multiple checkbox, date pickers, number, radio select, drop down select, uh, you know, you can keep going, there's a couple of cool new ones like calculation, uh, HubSpot user. So let's keep this one nice and simple and make it a single checkbox for now. And essentially this item here means we want this to be shown in a form. Create, properties being created. Now if we wanted to see that property in action, we can head over to a test contact. Click on actions view all properties and search for our new test property that we created. Now if I wanted to add it to the about card because it's something that my team are going to be needing to know and use frequently, I can do that as well. I can see it down here, maybe bring it up a little bit higher. Go back to my contact record and now I can see my test property in here ready for me to single check yes or no. Now that I've got this custom data field, I can use it in workflows, list building, email sends, customization tokens. Uh, the opportunities are truly endless within your HubSpot portal as to where you can now use this custom contact property. If you ever needed to review, update or change that contact property, you'd be navigating straight back to your settings. Once you're in your settings, you'll be able to head back down to properties and you can search for your property that you've created. Now we can edit, clone or delete. Let's just click into it to see a little bit more info. So as your custom contact properties start to collect data, you'll see them here. You'll see what lists they're being used in. Um, you can change the contact property. You can assign it to a different group. I've always kind of err on the side of caution when making these changes. Um, you know, just have a backup or lists, static lists maybe of the data that you're about to change, just to be on the safe side so you don't go and overwrite or uh, delete anything by accident. Otherwise, that's how you create a custom contact property in HubSpot. I really hope this has helped and if you have any feedback or want me to do a tutorial on another topic within your HubSpot portal, maybe something you need help on, just head over to redpandas.com.au and fill in one of the contact forms, have a look at some of the resources and maybe some other ways that we can help you. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.